Hey guys, what is up? It is the Ghastly Gengar, back again with some Pokemon Glaze. Last time we left off, we just got to the gates of the Pokemon League. There's a random Pokeball inside the chamber. Alright, so... Yeah, last time we took on the 8th gym, I believe, and then we just kind of ran up here. Um, I don't know if I need to be doing any training, uh, but I guess we'll know when we get there. We've already passed the first checkpoint, and now it's time to go into the second. Good luck taking the path of victory, you're going to need it. You mean victory road? <coughs> oh god. Oh, you champs! Just the slowpoke I was looking for! I am at the challenge to leave, but I wanted to test my team against you! Let's battle! Let's... not. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're starting off today's episode with a rival encounter. Ooh, she got that Raichu though. Looking at Raichu, I'm just kind of figuring out, or trying to figure out, how Alola turns him into a uh, fairy or psychic type. I don't know. It's kind. Of, it's just confusing. Wow, oh, she was under leveled. Parasect, easy peasy, woman squeezy. Gabite. Uh. Oh, I forgot we don't have, uh... Yep, I, I, t I don't even remember the fucking Pokemon that we put in the PC, that's... That's the thing. Um... Let's see... I guess we'll just go back into Kaiba. Psychic. Oh it. Should have switched back into Wukong. Bloom? Why has she got so many grass types? What the hell? Like, I understood it for the first gym, but now this is just ridiculous. Ah, this sucks. So, you probably know this already, but I released. Oh. Alright, so the team needs big. These work big deal, your team needs work too. Oh yeah, some guy in a weird orange suit was waiting for you group ahead. You just have a friend's chance. See ya! Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, yeah, there was a vlog uploaded last week saying that, uh... Well, not last week, but I guess the week before, saying, um... That my TV broke, and it did. It still's broken, it only plays, uh... I got it to mute, to like... Uh... I got the TV to stream audio, or not stream audio, but play audio. But it only accepts, like, audio video in from component cables, which are the red, yellow, and uh, white cables from, like, PlayStation 2 and shit. And, I mean, that's fine and all, but the only thing I have that uses it is a PlayStation 2. So, my good friend Paul- oh, Swamper, that's what we left. Oh, I'm gonna be such an ass. Uh, my good friend Paul let me, uh, have this 19-inch TV, which... Is really small like I used to use a 32 inch TV and this is about the size of a just like computer monitor so I wasn't expecting that uh, I'm Luke by I made that hacker playing right now I'm trying to be brave will you battle me thank goodness I got but um yeah so I have to make this janky ass shut up uh, set up which is really shit, like, I have my computer sitting in the middle of my floor, I have the TV sitting on a wooden table that I just use to put my laptop on, or just like, maybe some food or water, and I have to have it right next to my bed, because there's no other place to put it that has the, like, power cables and shit I need, and so basically, it's my bed, like, I have to sit on my bed to record, and I fucking hate it, I hate it so much. So I'm probably going to end up taking that break after I beat the Elite Four this time, I'm not sure. Maybe I can find a better setup somehow, maybe some get some extension cables or some shit, but right now the wire is- the wires are like such a problem, and I plan on playing Persona 3 again through with, uh... Well, not again, because we never finished it the first time, me and uh, Lord Chuckleton the Third are just planning on meeting up on, like, the weekends and just playing through Persona 3 before he moves, and hopefully Persona 4, and then maybe the, uh... 
second story that's on Persona 3 again. But that's that, this is this, so let's challenge the creator of the game. Here goes nothing, and I bet he gave himself a bunch of overpowered fucking like EV train Pokemon. Like right, lava was a given. Right, so let's get this Kipper in here. Let's use Surf. Jolteon. We got ourselves. Oh, we'll just stick a Kipper. And we'll use Strength. Oh right, no, Mudshot, I'm an idiot. Berloom. Let's get out that Wukong. Ooh. Encounter failed, boy. Metagross. Let's go into that Spectre, which is probably a bad idea, but... The only thing I really know I could use... Wait, why isn't Shadow Punch super effective? Right, let's go with Thunderbolt. Oh shit, well, Shocker is gone. Um, Grapes. Let's use try attack. That did nothing. Side beam. Recover. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Porygon Z. Wukong. Shit, he's asleep. Um, let's get. A awakening on him if we have one. Yeah, there it is. Charge shit. Um, knock punch. And Netric. And Kipper is still alive, so I think we just beat the creator of the game. I I'm kind of proud of this. Kipper, level 50. 2000 dollars. I'm sorry for taking your time here, why don't you have this? Oh, you don't have room in your party? Okay, I'll put it in your PC. <gasps> he gave me a Kalava! Alright, for those who don't know, um... Like, Cyndaquil, Kalava, and Typhlosion are like... One of my... Favorite... Like, fire starters that are there. So... Like, getting him, like, is everything to me. And especially if we're going to Johto. I, I feel like when we go to Johto, I'm going to completely switch this team out. And only use, maybe like, use half of that team, half of this team. Or half, yeah, half of this team, half of that team for like, a kind of mix for the Elite Four after that. Yeah. That and I would also like to uh just I really want to see how Johto is portrayed in this game because Treto is by far the best region. I don't want to hear any arguments about it. It's just a dirt badge detected. You may proceed. Like Heart Gold and Soul Silver were the best games ever. They had a feature that everyone's been asking for for a while, which is Pokemon following you around. Which, it was beautiful because you can actually interact with your Pokemon, they would give you free stuff here and there. And it was, it was just fun being able to actually travel like Ash with any Pokemon that you ever wanted. Like every Pokemon, depending on how big it was, like you could travel with it anywhere. Like some legendaries couldn't go indoors and stuff, but that's just because they were supposed to be the size of said buildings. So it makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, they had a bunch of cool story aspects that we never saw again, like in my top 10 things I'd like to see in uh, Sun and Moon. There's the whole, like, Arceus event that goes on, then there's the Celebi event, the Spiky Eared Pichu event. Like, and then there's, I believe, the uh, thing with Cyrus, where apparently he gets thrown back in time from uh, Garantina, and you get to face him in front of the one gym or whatever. Like, I've never personally seen that, so I'm pretty sure it's not a thing, but still, it's like a great idea, at least. But, like, like, Johto just can't be taken and given a shitty version, because that doesn't really make the region itself kind of bad, it makes the person who made it bad. 
So I'm hoping for the person who made this game's sake that, uh, that he did this right. Look, so far he's done really good. The beginning was a little rough because of all the gems that were a little harder than that they were supposed to. Like, originally be, but... Hey, the noon. Um, we'll try attack. Like, I'm trying my hardest not to just go off and talk about, uh... Just another game or something while I'm playing this, because it makes it seem like I'm not interested in playing this game. When actuality I am, it's just that usually when I play games and I'm talking to people, we just talk over any subject that comes to mind. And that's usually what I do, it's like... Sometimes I'll go to bed and I'll have something like... Stuck in my head that I can't get off my mind for a very long time. And then like... I get on, I, I sit down to record and just like, the first thing that comes out of my mouth. Crest badge detected. Sun, sit, oh, the forest, we were warned about this. Well, not really warned, more I was, uh, told that it was really sh dangerous. Uh, were there stores back? Oh. Can you feel the presence of evil in this forest? No. I think it just raced. Set me. I'm really looking forward to, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon now. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait. Derp. Wait, it's a ghost bug, which we... Uh, we'll call See, this... This is some bullshit. No, more bullshit if they actually give him a health bar. The only evil in this forest was that fucking shit ninja. What the fuck, dude? Alright. I always liked the Viper. So Viper's a really cool Pokemon. I liked it, um... Like, when Jesse got hers, I think that was, like, probably the first time... Actually, no. I think it was around the anime came out, or when the games came out, I saw, uh... It's either I saw Jesse get her Viper first, or I just played through Pokemon and just saw a trainer who had it. But I really like the design and pattern of Viper and that this whole, like, thing with, um, Zangoose is, well, a thing. And, like... I think Viper has one of the best shinies in the game. Oh, it's Azora. It's not really evil, per se, it's just kinda... Uh, mischievous. Right, I'm gonna go... Actually, not. I need to... Yeah, I need to train the shocker. Um... I try my hardest to sit, like, comfortably. Uh, I think this is it. I think this is probably the most comfortably I've sat while, uh... Recording a, uh... Gameplay, <laughs> right now. Also, with this TV, it has two HDMI cord or ports or whatever, which my TV did not. Also, this TV had a lot of features that my TV doesn't originally have, which is supposed to be better, but in actuality, my TV was worse. This TV has working speakers, it has two HDMI ports, it has two component and one composite input, like, slots or whatever. And then, like... It has a working menu, everything's, uh... Like, so far every console I've played on it, um, the aspect ratio was correct, like, usually when I played stuff on my TV. Um, I don't know if it was just because it was old or whatever, or the like, the screen was messed up. But, like, it would always end up cropping off a lot of the, uh... Like, images and stuff from, like, the game. So, you would have, like, half a HUD displayed, and then just, like, the rest of it be off-screen. Um, don't I have rare candies? I'm pretty sure I picked up rare candies. I think I put- yeah, there we go. I'm gonna use this on... Shit, um... I think... Grapes needs it more, to be honest. But the Shocker has a smaller move pool, so I'm gonna go with it him. We have a nugget. Um, we need to find a shop or something. We're probably gonna have to wait till we get to the, uh... I'm fast forwarding, sorry. Do you? Yeah, we have a freaking bike, I forgot. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? Yeah, this, this, that's probably one of my biggest problems. I'll get on topic and I'll just go off and I'll forget what I was talking about originally. But I guess everyone does it every once in a while, but I do it a lot. Um, 
let's see. Ooh, a Houndoom. Hello. Uh, I, I kind of want to... Eh, I don't know if I should t like talk about Pokemon Amino, because it's kind of like... a meh kind of thing. Like, for those of you who don't know, Pokemon Am Oh, you can catch Umbreon? Yo. But, uh, Pokemon Amino is an app on your phone or, like, tablet that you could use. And it's basically a community kind of platform for Pokemon players or fans, community, like, stuff like that. And... It's not really that in depth, but like for a while I was trying to use it to increase my fan base. I don't know if that really worked because I'm still only at 25 subscribers from like three months ago or whatever, or however long this channel's been up. Um, but yeah, it was just yeah, shit. I lost my train of thought. Um, but like I basically tried doing this thing once where it's like if you follow me on Pokemon Amino I was giving away five sh uh, six IV Jolly Tyrants and one was a shiny and all they had to do was like the video and just comment down below what they like thought their favorite or what their favorite Pokemon was and a reason why and I would just choose them off from there and no one participated there was a free shiny uh, Tyrant up for grabs and nobody went for it. Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not giving up my accuracy. I don't care. My accuracy is kinda needed. So let's keep going. I'm not really interested in catching Pokemon at the moment. Uh, I got my team, and I really don't have a, a lot of... I do want this Umbreon, but at the same time, we have plenty of Eevees to get our own. Oh. Um, I'm not wasting my Master Ball. Let's see. Alright, we got an Umbreon! Alright. I'm gonna name you Onion Ring. Onion Rings. Onion Rings was transferred to somebody's PC, placed in box one. I'm guessing since uh, Jodo's in this game, I guess Bill is too. Oh, please don't tell me because Jotto's in this game that freaking Kanto's gonna be in this game too. Because I cannot go through three, like, regions. That's just way too long. Oh my God. Like, that's cool, but that's way too long for, like, a first solo playthrough of a Pokemon series. I'm definitely gonna have to think about what the uh, next Soul Link or just, like, project's gonna be. Because I don't know if I'm going to do with Soul Link next or the other project that I've planned with uh, Lord Chuckleton. Because I really do enjoy doing the, uh, like, multiple people kind of content. Like, I, I like recording in a group more than I do recording alone, because recording in a group you at least have people to bounce your jokes off of and at least, like, get feedback of what you're saying and stuff like that. Like, I just, like, generally at being able to be just be with other people instead of just being alone talking to myself hoping that somebody watches it later on like at least when I record in a group I know I'm saying something someone's hearing my thoughts and they can at least give feedback because it's happening right then and there not maybe three weeks down the road oh there goes the shocker I was trying to get him leveled up, but he ended up failing. Well, he didn't end up failing. He was just a little under-leveled. I'm 
I'm still trying to get a victory bell on Pokemon Go. I've realized ever since they've screwed up Pokemon Go, and by screwed up I mean just fuck up with the radar and just like everything in between. But I hear now they actually fix some things with like making it so uh the game registers how far you've moved um in less amount of time, so it doesn't take ten to fifteen minutes to re for it to uh just check to see how far you've walked. Ooh, I could use that. Hi, onion rings. But it, uh... Apparently it ch checks like every five minutes now or so. Oh, shit. They said the forest was scary, but nothing scares me. It wasn't really scary, it was ominous. It wasn't really spooky, though. Like, I've, I've definitely been through spookier places in Pokemon. Like, uh... In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the haunt, like the abandoned hotel kind of area, or um, let's see, the distortion world was really spooky. Not gonna lie, but I loved it because it was just a beautiful place. Um, what else is there? There's that haunted mansion in Pokemon. I mean, it's not really spooky or whatever. It's just. I would have preferred that to take more of the anime approach to the mansion that was in uh, the like swamp area of X and Y, because that place had a nice story and stuff, and it was just a really like cool thing. We'll put Spectre up front for now. He hasn't gotten a lot of attention lately. Don't tell me I need ah. Uh, well, actually, no, I think I have Surf. Hey, hey. I'm trying to get as much money as I can, so that way I'm prepared to get my proper needs when I get to, uh, the Elite Four. Which I'm also going to need to stop and get any preparations with my HMs and TMs sorted out. Because Kipper still knows a lot of uh, HMs, and I really don't want to go into uh, the Elite Four with an HM sleeve. Now, for those of you who don't know who are really sensitive, HM sleeve is just a term people use for a uh, Pokemon that is used exclusively for HMs. I also realize that it's been 22 minutes, so after this battle, we're going to have to leave the episode off. Such a weird Pokemon. Why would you have a Phoebus? Alright, guys, so. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe for more, leave a like, and comment down below what your favorite part of the series was or what you're looking forward to in the future. And I hope you all have a great day, and until next time. Bye-bye.